Now, before I go to the Americas, I definitely would like to talk about uh, East Asia. So, first we'll take Japan as a center. We'll deal with Japan and Russia, contesting areas, Japan, South Korea, and then Japan and China. So, first we'll talk about Japan. And the first group of islands, which you should remember is this island called Kuril Islands, K-U-R-I-L. Kuril Islands originally belonged to Japan until 1945. During the Second World War, between the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, this territory is were occupied by the former Soviet Union under the leadership of, of course, Joseph Stalin. So until, you know, after that, uh, Japan has been constantly protesting that uh, it was during World War II negotiations, it was the closure of the war and hence this was illegally occupied. So please remember, any point of time Kuril Islands comes into picture, it is controlled by Russia. But please remember that Japan is strongly contesting it because of how it was captured. Because it was between August, 1940, August 9, 1945 and August 15, 1945. Within a week time, Stalin occupied this when Japan was already stepping in for negotiations. So, Kuril Islands never ever forget. Island number two is Saginaw. Saginaw. So, this completely belongs to Russia. And this is to the northern side of Japan. One more important island. And now, we are going to island number three or island group number three. This is present in southern Japan. Is zoom out. This is present in southern southern Japan. This is closer towards Taiwan and China, which is an important area called Ryukyu. Number three, R Y U K Y U. The reason this is again in news is because of its proximity to Taiwan. There is a lot of uh, bad blood going on between China and Taiwan, and these are the next islands of Japan, which is close by. And there is an important island of Japan in this archipelago group. It is called as Okinawa. O K I N A W A. So Okinawa. So that is the next important place. So to recollect, we had Kuril Islands in the north, that is the disputed territory. Then we had the Sakhalin Island with Russia. And then finally the Ryukyu Archipelago, which belongs to Japan, of which Okinawa is an important location there of that island. Now for the last two places in this part of East Asia, which is contested, that is, we have a group of small rocks called Liangkat rocks right here. So, they could ask you this question. They were already asked in 2023. The 2023, they asked this Nogorno Karabakh. This region is in news because it is disputed territory between which two countries? Or this region in news, where is it exactly located? So, you can get similar questions. The Liangkat rocks are disputed territory between uh, South Korea and Japan. South Korea and Japan. That is, even though it is controlled by South Korea today. Japan strongly says, no, it belongs to us. Uh, we have the right authority over that. So, it's one more disputed territory. And then, finally, we have one more group of islands. And this is between Japan and China. The name of the islands is Senkaku. Senkaku Islands. So, this is between Japan and China. So, here the condition is reversed. Uh, in this case, Japan controls the group of islands. But China says, no, uh, this belongs to our territory. So, this is one more group. So, if by any chance you get questions on disputed territories, especially in East Asia, please remember Liangkot Rocks and Senkaku Islands. Now, the reason I mention these is, uh, most students would naturally concentrate uh, in Southeast China Sea, where you will definitely talk about uh, uh, Paracel Islands and then your Spratly Islands. Apart from these two groups, please make sure you also focus on the last East Asia ones. So, finally, uh, before we close uh, the discussion, so we have all pretty much uh, wrapped up with reference to Middle East, uh, your Black Sea, your Baltic Sea, Eastern Europe, parts of Western Europe, North Sea, uh, Pacific Islands, uh, East Asia. Now we are going to close the discussion with the Americas and some important islands.